right, everybody. Here's my next paint job. 50 foot ferrous cement. I'm gonna take y'all for a walk around real quick and show y'all what I got going on. So here we go. <clears throat> a lot of freeboard. There's places all over the hole that are bubbled up like that. I think what happened was whoever painted it previously, you know, I think the concrete was still moist and not completely dry. That's my thoughts anyway, but the bubbles are everywhere. And this is a monster. So just to kind of give you an idea, can't see everything cause it's so high up in the air, but <clears throat> what a beast. Not only do I have to do the hole, I have to do the entire deck as well. They got plywood up there on deck with one layer of glass and everywhere the plywood butts up to the next piece, it is all cracked up and, you know, up underneath the gunnels, all the filler and paint is peeled and breaking off. So, oh, that's one heck of a job. As I've stated in the past, I work by myself. So that's gonna take me all winter, I think. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you all that real quick. I will be documenting this whole process on YouTube. So for those of y'all interested in a job like this, I hope you enjoy and stay tuned. I'll see y'all soon. Okay, everyone, boat's in the building. It's time to start this project. As always, the first thing I'm gonna do is give the entire boat a really good wash scrub. I'm gonna use Comet, Scotch-Brite, hard bristle brush, etc and get it as clean as I can so that one, I can see where I need to address and two, I have a clean surface to work off of. So real quick, I'm gonna show you what we got going on up on deck and I'm gonna start back here. And work my way up. Now all this hardware is coming off. All the wood is getting refinished. I mean, we got tons of stuff like this happening. There's cracks all in the deck, all on the side walls, dealing with stuff like this. You know, that's pretty ugly, but I'll fix it. It's just a, a whole bunch of epoxy filler or whatnot. And yeah, so just to show you, she's a pretty big boat. A lot of walking room. But everywhere the the plywood butts up, we have these cracks. I mean, it's it's at every joint. So I have to dig into it, and it's just going to be what it's going to be. So I just wanted to show you all this real quick. I'm gonna get the scrub a dub dubbing and then I'll jump down on the hull and scrub that, let it dry and proceed. So with that being said, I'll see y'all on the next step. All right, All right, everybody, gonna dig into the first bad section, this one. Now this was repaired in the past and I'm hoping that all this brittle bondo that breaks off is just in this repaired section. That's what we're about to find out. So let's see what happens here. Well, that's where the repair stops. That's not good. I'll investigate a little bit more. Wonderful. Here's a piece I just chipped off. 
Let's see how well this paint's held up. Oh, that's not good. To be able to peel the paint off that fairing. Uh oh. Alright. Well, I'm not going to go any further on this spot and then get with the owner and see how far they want to go. Um, just from seeing this, I have a feeling I'll be able to take a chisel and remove all of this. Which, don't get me wrong, I would much rather start from scratch to bare concrete and build it back up rather than trying to build on top of all of this fairing. So, anyhow, first sample spot dug into. Now I'm gonna dig into another one. All right, fellas, spot number two. See if y'all can see this. All of these bubbles. I know you probably can't see it spaced back, but let's see what this looks like on the inside. I think they're just water bubbles, but we're about to find out. Oh yeah. Soaking wet. That's a lot of water. Look at it, it's peeling up. Ridiculous. My paint product line is not going to do this, I can assure you that. <clears throat> the good thing is the concrete is solid. It's pretty smooth. So I have a feeling, hopefully the owner goes for this, I'll just take this big guy and I'll sit here and shave every last bit of this off this entire concrete hull and start from scratch. Now, the very first product I'll use is Devo's Pre-Prime 167. It's a wet and out epoxy. It's designed for concrete. I also use it in glass layups, but it creeps up as far as possible. It goes vertical, up, down, left, right. It doesn't matter. And uh, it wicks and chases out water. It seals the concrete and water cannot penetrate back through the 167. So the 167 will be my first step. And then I'll seal that with the coat of 235 and lock that in place. And then we're gonna have an excellent substrate finish on top of the concrete. So hopefully I can convince the owner to just go ahead and let me just peel all this off. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's going to go quicker than grinding all this off, I can assure you that. I'm just amazed at how wet this is. Alright, convince the owner to let me do this and uh yeah so i gotta hold off on this until i talk with them and just so y'all see that's what moisture and concrete will do to a paint job if it's not sealed properly as i said concrete solid and good so that's a good thing I've got hundreds of places like this to open up on the boat, and uh, yeah, it's going to be what it is. You got to love it. Boatloads of fun. I'll see you all on the next one. All right, everybody. So I got to go ahead to remove whatever I could remove off the hull. 
I'm gonna start out just scraping all the loose stuff that I can, and then I'll jump to a grinder or possibly even sandblast what doesn't come off off. So, for the time being, I'm just gonna zone out with my, my big scraper, and I'm gonna time lapse all of this. This is a time consuming process, and yeah, y'all will see the progress. So, I'm gonna get the peel and paint, and I'll see y'all on the next step. All right. Y'all see what I'm doing. Some of it's coming off really easy and in big chunks. Some of it's coming off in little shards. Some of it doesn't want to come off. So I'm just going to keep scraping all the easy stuff off and then I'm going to have to jump to my 8 inch grinder or the sand blaster. I'll make up my mind when that time comes. It's really going to depend on how much product is still left on the haul by the time I'm done scraping. So. This is gonna work me out and it's gonna take some time. So I'm not gonna record any more me scraping. If, uh, if I got to jump into sandblasting or grinding, I'll pick back up then. But uh, this has more or less just been the exploratory part of this process. And now I see what I have to do. So I'm just gonna do it. With that being said, I'll catch y'all on the next step. All right, later.